Well, enjoy this morning because it's going to be a hot <laughs> one later on today. Sure is. It is that time of the year, though. We yeah. come to expect yeah. it here, right, Rob? <laughs> That's right. It's that time of the year, but we're, yeah, we're just getting started. It's still May, so we've got June, July, August, September, even October. I remember just a couple of years ago, we hit 100 several times in the month of October, so we've got a ways to go. These are the peak feels like temperatures for each day. So this is the heat index, so a combination of the temperature and the humidity. So right around the low to mid 90s today. One thing you'll notice actually going with higher heat index values for Thursday, even though the temperature will be lower, and that's because we're just having more humidity moisture in place. So again, it's the combination of both that we really track in the summer month, because when you have all that humidity in the air, that slows down the evaporation of the sweat from your skin and you start to overheat and that's when we start running issues with heat illnesses in the summer months. Decatur right now just a beautiful view had a nice sunrise about 45 minutes ago just seen some passing clouds and of course some passing bees here no cicadas I think those were just some wasps 66 degrees right now uh, in Decatur and you know some of the cooler spots 60 in Athens 62 degrees in Fayetteville for pain down to the upper 50s but this should be our low for the morning we're going to start to see these temperatures taking off here pretty soon. On the way 31 storm tracker early warning radar network just seen passing clouds on the satellite. We are all dry, but by about 1, 2 o'clock tomorrow, that's more likely to start to see maybe a few pop up showers and storms because we're starting to see the return of some of that moisture from out of the southwest. Been watching over the last 7 to 10 days, all of the heavy rain, the thunderstorms, they've been locked up off to our west because high pressure has been preventing that from moving in. But we're going to start to see a little bit more of that moisture moving in over the next 48 hours. Sunburn time for today is 5 to 10 minutes. We're actually close to the extreme range for the UV index. Worst time of the day by far is right around high noon. That's at 1243 locally here, but you need to have that sun protection in the morning hours, afternoon, even all the way to the early evening. And the afternoon planner for today will hit that high right around 3, 4 o'clock today, 92. But again, it's going to feel more like the mid 90s because of the moisture moving back in. At least we have a little bit of wind today. It's been pretty calm and stagnant over the last couple of afternoons, but you'll notice winds up to about 10 to 12 miles per hour by 2, 3, 4 o'clock today. Shouldn't be much of an issue for Toyota Field this evening for the trash pandas and there's a look at that game cast for this evening still in the mid to upper 80s by that first pitch at 635 and then temperatures quickly dropping off as we wrap up that game temperatures should be falling to about the upper 70s no lightning to speak of here this evening but we'll have to keep a close eye on conditions over the next few days as those storm chances will be going up 730 this morning all the way through this afternoon we're gonna have our typical clouds building up in that late morning afternoon heat but just not enough instability or moisture to see any showers or storms today that's all the way through this evening again dry conditions for the trash pandas tonight and then by tomorrow morning we're gonna see those temperatures climb pretty quickly and then once once we hit about noon, that's where you're going to start to see the big towering clouds going up and maybe enough for some showers and storms, maybe west of I-65. But you'll notice these storms moving in by about 4 or 5 o'clock. That could bring some lightning nearby Toyota Field. Download the Way 31 weather app. You can track all of those on your phone if you're out at the game. If it's getting close, a little uncomfortable, head out to the parking lot, head to your car. If that passes and you head back out to the game, of course, it would delay the game if lightning's nearby, so you're not going to miss much. And you'll notice the rain chances quickly drop off just in time for this holiday weekend with the cold front off to our south by late Friday night.